Hello everyone. Today I will present our recent work with title of a robust network alignment with attack single skinning and adversarial perturbation elimination. Network alignment is also well known as a graph matching. It aims to match the same entities across multiple graphs. It has been widely applied to many real world applications such as uh, protein network alignment in bioinformatics, user account linking in multiple social networks, uh, object matching in computer vision, and uh, knowledge translation in multiple uh, multilingual knowledge bases. Uh, existing network alignment technologies often assume cross graph feature consistency. So it means uh, if two nodes into graphs have the same topologic and attribute features, it's highly possible these two nodes are, are matching. So thus existing uh, supervised network line technologies often aim to maximize the similarity uh, between uh, projected nodes in one graph and uh, another uh, and the nodes in another graph. So in this loss functions, here M is a network alignment function. Yeah, VI1 and VJ2 are two known uh, matched nodes in two graphs. So the dot symbol represents the inner product between the node vectors. So here we try to maximize the similarity between projected M VI1 and uh, VJ2. Yeah, after the trading, yeah, we select uh, the nodes into graphs with the largest similarity as a network alignment result. So here VI, uh, VK2 represents the negative uh, nodes. A recent work has shown uh, graph matching models are vulnerable to adversarial attacks. However, there is a still a lack of uh, a uh, robust method investigating how to make network alignment robust to adversarial attacks. Uh, recently, uh, gradient-based adversarial technologies such as the fast gradient sign method, uh, projected gradient distance uh, technologies have shown the strength producing effective adversarial examples in image data. Yeah, this method computes the gradient of the loss function of a target model to identify weak uh, input features to attack. However, a recent work report, the gradient-based adversarial attack method tend to fail to produce uh, effective adversarial perturbations when uh, we faced with uh, vanishing gradients due to poor backward signal propagation in neural networks. As for uh, state-of-the-art uh, defense technologies, uh, they can be broadly classified into two categories. Adversarial training technologies, generative adversarial perturbations on clean data and retrain the learning models on perturbed data. It needs to modify the architecture of the target models to adapt to change. However, the retraining cost is not trivial. Yeah, and the second uh, uh, class of approaches uh, are uh, attack detection or the elimination approaches. They aim to detect and remove perturbations or reduce the negative effect of uh, attacks without the model retraining. However, the lack of uh, supervised information about the effective perturbation in a point graph models from detecting adversarial edge and thus leads to sub-optimal solutions. So in this work, yeah, we aim to propose uh, effective adversarial attack approaches and then use the generated effective adversarial attack as uh, supervision inf uh, information to uh, guide the adversarial defenders to eliminate adversarial perturbations before feed 
the uh, perturbation eliminated a graph into alignment function M for providing the preemptive per, uh, protection. So yeah, our approach uh, contains three contributions. So first, in order to ensure uh, informative attack signal with both well-conditioned Jacobian and the meaningful signal propagation from the north of our network alignment. We analyze how poor signal propagation can cause vanishing gradients in adversarial attacks. And then we propose a uh, attack signal scaling method yeah, based uh, to scale attack signal in back propagation. The proposed method can improve the efficiency of uh, effectiveness of a gradient based adversarial attack. Uh, in addition, by integrating direct delta approximation technologies and LSTM models, uh, adversarial perturbation elimination model is developed to neutralize adversarial nodes in vulnerable space to adversarial free nodes in safe area such as the original clean and adversarial free networks are close to each other. This is a framework of uh, yeah, our robust network alignment solution. So first, yeah, we retrain a network alignment function M on two clean uh, graph, G1 and G2. Yeah, and uh, based on the uh, pre-trained network alignment uh, model M, so we calculate the loss function of the network alignment. And then uh, we calculate the uh, single skills, two single skills, alpha, alpha, alpha one and alpha two. Yeah, and then we calculate the skilled gradients. Yeah, and then we apply the skilled gradients uh, to PGT attack, to attack uh, these two graphs to generate two perturbed graphs, hat G1 and hat G2. Yeah, and then we integrate the adversarial perturbation elimination with the direct delta approximation uh, technologies to get uh, two adversarial free graphs, bar G1 and bar G2. Yeah, and then uh, we fit these two adversarial free uh, graphs into the pre-trained network alignment uh, model to produce robust network alignment result. So in this work, yeah, we use a PGT based adversarial uh, attack technologies to produce adversarial attacks. Yeah, in all gradient based adversarial attack technologies, yeah, we need to calculate the gradient of the loss functions. So thus, uh, in the context of our network alignment, we need to calculate yeah, such gradients. Yeah, and then we can re re rewrite the uh, gradient as a product of uh, these two terms. Yeah, we call the first uh, term is a single from the alignment loss. And the Ji is the input output Jacobian matrix of the neural network. So here we can say, yeah, if the Ji is close to zero or uh, phi is close to zero, yeah, we will result in vanish gradient issues. So thus, yeah, we want to uh, uh, scale attack uh, singles. So here, yeah, we add a scale factor alpha to the network alignment function here. And then, yeah, we calculate the scaled gradients. So however, yeah, based on the theoretical analysis, yeah, we need to make the Jacobian uh, well condition. So that means uh, we need to make sure the single value uh, values of alpha Ji uh, is, are close to one. Yeah, and then we need to make sure the norm of uh, phi should be larger than a given threshold. So based on these uh, two conditions, 
Yeah, we directly generate the upper bound of a feasible alpha. Yeah, and then we use the generated yeah, feasible alphas to scale the single propagation to produce effective adversarial attacks. Yeah, and then based on the generated uh, adversarial attacks, yeah, we use uh, uh, adversarial attacks as uh, supervision information to learn a uh, perturbation elimination model. So in this uh, work, we use uh, LSTM model to learn this uh, perturbation elimination model. So here, hat VI1 represent the perturb node, and the bar VI1 represent the adversarial free node. So thus, here we want, we aim to maximize uh, these uh, probabilities. Yeah, and then based on the perturbation elimination models, yeah, we can define these uh, loss functions. So here, L uh, bar VI1 and the VJ2 represent the original loss functions on adversarial free nodes. So yeah, we try to uh, minimize these uh, loss functions. Yeah, based on our theoretical analysis. So if a certain condition is uh, satisfied, so the defense loss functions on adversarial free graphs is uh, equivalent to the law, loss function on the original graph data. So however, in this uh, equivalent, uh, in this uh, theory, yeah, we need to calculate the Iraq delta function about uh, the bar VI1 and uh, uh, VI1. So thus, yeah, we use uh, Dirac delta approximation technologies to calculate this. So when, when the uh, bar VI1 is equal to uh, VI1, yeah, here it's equal to zero. Yeah, and then the Dirac uh, delta function value is equal to one. So thus, this represents we maximize the uh, uh, generative probabilities uh, from perturbed nodes to adversarial free nodes. In this work, yeah, we have uh, performed the extensive evaluation on three groups of uh, data sets. Yeah, we compare with uh, several state-of-the-art attack models and uh, graph matching methods. We use accuracy precision uh, to evaluate uh, qualities of uh, network alignment. So here, these three uh, pictures, uh, these are three pictures present the network alignment result with uh, protections of uh, four graph perturbation elimination models on the two data sets. So we have observed among four perturbation elimination methods, uh, the alignment result by our proposed RN model on both original and uh, lowest uh, networks achieve the best uh, quality in most ex experiments, demonstrating effectiveness and uh, robustness of uh, our proposed RNA model. So now I finish my uh, presentation. Thank you for attending yeah, uh, my presentation and uh, yeah, watch the video yeah of uh, our work